Last year, we reported on the off-street shelter in downtown Billings that serves as a low barrier overnight homeless shelter for those in Billings. Now that they have been operating for two months, Q2 Shaquille Cozart goes back to see how things are going as we enter the colder months. Off the Streets is a low barrier shelter that opened in downtown Billings last year in mid-November. Since the overnight shelter for homeless people in Billings has been open, they have been helping at least 30 people per night, supplying them with a bed, a shower, and a good night's sleep. And these are all individuals that, that would be on the street um, somewhere in alleys or in cars sometimes, sleeping in cars. Um, or at the community crisis center, you know, waiting either outside or waiting inside um, to try and just get some rest. Barthel says that the shelter doesn't come with many amenities, but some necessary ones. Upon check-in, guests are given clean pajamas that they can wear for the night and later return in the morning. They're also offered to have their laundry done so they can have clean clothes after showering. Barthel also says they're offering storage now. Yeah, one of our goals, believe it or not, was not to have so many shopping carts um, you seeing around town. So hopefully the community is seeing less shopping carts because we are providing storage, cold storage, large storage units uh, for those folks to get out of their shopping carts because with, since they have a place to sleep at night, they don't need to be pushing around sleeping bags and blankets and pillows and all that stuff. Berthel says that when the shelter first opened, it was outfitted with security systems that are monitored 24-7. But the shelter hasn't needed that. So people are coming in, they're checking in at 7 p.m., and they're asleep by 8. So they're getting into their rooms, um, they're taking a shower, they're jumping into some PJs that we loaned them so we can wash their clothes, and they're asleep by 8 o'clock. And, and they're not waking up until 6 o'clock the next morning. They're getting 10 hours where that would be too much sleep for me. Barthel says that the shelter has helped the homeless greatly and has also cut down on some of the strain on our emergency services. Those that are homeless no longer have to call for an ambulance and hopes to be taken to the hospital where it's warm. Reporting in Billings, I'm Shaquille Cozart with MTN News. And Barthel adds that the shelter is temporary and in October it will shut down. The Continuum of Care has a plan to open a permanent facility starting November 1st.